What differentiates Catalyst's investment approach? I think something we could probably spend a whole day on, but I mean, if, if I can sort of summarize it into sort of two main categories, I, I think the first one is it's important to understand the history of Catalyst, which we spoke about earlier, in the sense that you know, not only Andre, who was our founder, but most of our senior uh, team members in the investment team all come from a direct real estate background. What that means is that, you know, when we think of real estate, we think of it on a lot deeper level and more granular level than your typical really listed real estate fund managers do. You know, we will think about things like what is the type of capex that is necessary to be spent just to keep this building in its current state? You know, what are the frictional costs on retenanting this building if this tenant vacates and we have to get someone else in? And I think that sort of very detailed granular thought process around real estate has influenced our investment strategy and our investment approach throughout the years. I think the, the second point that I'd highlight is that our investment methodology focuses on a risk-adjusted return and not just an absolute return. What I mean by that is that you know, when we assess our stocks, we not only build up just kind of cash flow models for all the stocks in our investable universe, as most people do, but we also spend an enormous amount of time building up a required rate of return for each individual stock within our investment universe. And that'll look at multiple factors, but to give you a few, we'll look at, for example, each company's debt. Not only the level of debt, but also the sources of the debt, the duration of the debt, you know, the risk of refinancing that debt. We'll then go and look at the management teams, and we'll score them on multiple metrics, including the Harvey allocated capital in the past. And what that does is companies that do not score well on those metrics, we actually require additional return from them to compensate for the additional risk that we're taking. And what that does is it actually gives us a far superior risk adjusted return through both up markets and down markets. So what does robust risk adjusted investment methodology actually results in? It gives investors best of breed specialist fund management skills, okay, based in South Africa, but competing on a global stage. Okay, and I think it's very important to emphasize that we uh, compete with the best fund managers within real estate on a global basis. And we, cons we consider our competitors to be those top fund managers based out of London, based out of New York, based out of Boston, Sydney, wherever it may be. Um, yeah, and I think, you know, if, if you look at our historic returns, I think, you know, they speak to that. If you look at the 11 Raging Bull Awards, which Catalyst have won over the years and the four Hedge News Africa Awards, I think that speaks for itself.